<sighs> Isn't it interesting how we can use something each and every day without having a clue how it's made? Take for example, the $64 billion toilet paper industry. It's something we all use every day, or at least I hope you do, and we kind of ignore the fact that people are getting filthy rich selling it. What the heck, Marcus? I thought you were gonna talk about how to make money on Google. Yeah, don't worry. This has everything to do with how you're gonna make money on Google, but you gotta watch the entire video all the way through so you get the aha moment. Now, the way they make toilet paper is actually pretty interesting. They start with recycled paper and then put it in a big vat thing like this. And then they put some boiling hot water in there. Then they mix it around till it turns into some sludge stuff. That then turns in to the toilet paper we use today. And in much the same way we use toilet paper every day but ignore how it's made, we also use Google every day without understanding how money is being made. So if you wanna make money on Google, like Patrick over here, you need to pay attention to what's happening behind the curtains. Last year, Google reported over $180 billion in revenue. That's a lot of zeros. And reports show that over 3.8 million people every single minute search Google for something. But where does all this money come from? Well, the vast majority of their $180 billion comes from ad revenue. That means advertisers are paying Google so that they can show up for the keywords you search for. And with over 65,000 searches a second, there's a lot of things people are looking up from YouTube to Facebook, Amazon, Gmail, Yahoo Mail, Walmart, Netflix, and some other weird stuff too. But how is this gonna help you make $100 a day with Google? Well, let's hop in the computer and I'll show you how this whole thing works so that you can make money like Patrick over here. Now, the first thing you need to realize is that when I go in here and I type something in like mortgage, right, like this, there's gonna be some ads on Google, right? You see ads here, ads here, ads down here, and then down at the bottom, it's also gonna show even more ads. What this means is people are actually paying for clicks to their website. So if I search for mortgage, I click this ad, this guy pays some crazy amount to Google depending on what that keyword is going for. Now, if we look in the Google Keyword Planner, we could see that the mortgage keyword is going from about $4.90 a click for the lower bid to $15 a click on the high end. Wait, what? Are you telling me that this guy might be paying as much as $15 a click or more? Yep, that's exactly what I'm saying. Wait a minute, man. I clicked the button. Where's my 15 bucks? Well, hold on a second there, fella. The $15 is actually paid to Google, not you. But if you keep watching this video in its entirety, yeah, all the way through, I'm gonna show you how you can get a piece of the action. And while we could see here that almost a million people a month are searching for the word mortgage, there's also lots of other keywords out there like calories where people are looking for like calories in a banana, calories in an egg McMuffin, and different things like that. And of course, since these are not mortgage words, they're kinda not as expensive. We could see here, they're saying it's like 62 cents or less. You still got a million people, but it's just not worth as much as the keyword mortgage. Now what all this means is that you have 65,000 searches done on Google every single second. That's right, like there's 65,000. There's another 65,000. Now, some of them might be searching for mortgage, some of them might be looking for calories, or whatever. And what happens is the big Google engine goes out there and it has a bunch of advertisers. And it says, hey, what are you willing to pay for mortgage? What are you willing to pay for calories? What are you willing to pay for this? What are you willing to pay for that? And the engine goes through and charges them when the ads are clicked on. Pretty cool, right? It's like a big, huge, $180 billion empire built on software where people are buying clicks. That's right, it's really nothing more than just a click. So the first thing you need to understand when making money with Google is that this search box and the keywords people type in are like inventory. There's different keywords that people type in that are worth lots of money to advertisers. 
For example, if we were to take some of these keywords like car insurance or something like that, you could see that the word car insurance is worth like $117, $123 a click. We also have stuff like the word doctor. Doctor is going for a whopping $13, $10, $16 a click or more. The word fitness is somewhere around $5 to $7 per click. Merchant account is going for a whopping $50 to $60 a click. Then we have the word compensation going for anywhere from $2 to $35 a click or more. You even have keywords like printable, coupons, calories, and all kinds of things people are looking up, and this is all worth money to the big Google engine. Take a look at this keyword. There's over a thousand people a month looking for cheesy gordita crunch calories. But if you notice over here, there's no prices. And if we search for it in Google like this, we don't see any advertisements on the page. Remember this part, I'm gonna get back to it in just a little bit. So congratulations, you passed the first part in understanding that keywords searched for on Google equal inventory. Much like there's a grocery store or a place you go that has inventory on the shelves and that inventory is worth money, yeah, it's the same thing with Google. People search for stuff, that creates an inventory, and people buy the ads, which is kind of like the sale. That's how they make all that money. Now, let's dive into the five ways you can start making $100 a day or more using what you just learned. Remember how I said that these ads are people paying money? What about these people down here who don't say ads? Yeah, those are free. Wait, what, Marcus? Are you telling me these people are paying $15 to $50 a click and this guy pays nothing? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. And the question now becomes, how are we going to rank on the free search engine listings on Google? Well, the key is that you need content that is relevant. So if I write an article about a topic that I know I can get ranked for, the chances of ranking for it are actually pretty easy. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to use several different keyword tools. One of my favorite is the Ahrefs keyword tool. Now, remember how we said that mortgage is like $15 a click? We could see that mortgage is also extremely competitive. These numbers are listed from 0 to 100. 100 means it's pretty much impossible to rank on the free side, and zero means it's pretty much inevitable to rank on the free side. So all we need to do is provide content or create something of value to the people that are searching for stuff that is low competition. And if we go into our Ahrefs keyword tool and I do the top searches, we could see all the top searches. There's like three or four billion keywords. However, if I take this KD, which is the difficulty that you see here, the zero to 100, and I put that from a zero to a zero, and I hit apply, I can see that there is still 58 million keywords that have zero competition. Wait a minute, are you kidding me? No, and since we know that keywords equal inventory, that means you can rank, get the inventory, and point the visitors to stuff that pays you money. Woo doggy! And you could do this with or without a website. You could actually take that content that you create about that keyword you know you can get, and you could put that on sites like Medium. You could put it on sites like Quora. You could put it on a blogger or blog spot. You could put it pretty much anywhere that allows you to put a site up. Or you could get your own website and start your own blog and build this the right way, which makes lots of money, which is going to make it a heck of a lot easier to get to $100 a day. And you can see here that sites like Blogger have over 475,000 organic keyword rankings, 4 million visitors, and a traffic value of about $3 million a month. We can also see that Medium, which is a free site you could post on, has 41 million keywords, 22 million different visitors a month, and the traffic value is still trying to load, which makes me think it's probably quite a bit, right? And then if you go to Google and you search for stuff like Newegg Affiliate Program, which gets like a thousand searches a month, you can actually see that my site ranks here on the free stuff, affiliatemarketingdude.com. You could see the same thing for Uber Affiliate Marketing. We rank down here, number five. 
uh, for this word, paleo skirt, which or skeet or whatever it is, it's like some kind of ClickBank product or something. We actually rank here number five for this, and all I did was include it one time on my page. So it wasn't even that hard to rank for that one. We also rank for stuff like free ad forum, which gets thousands of searches each and every month. Here we are down here and on and on we go. And just to show you that this doesn't just work in make money online, we actually went through and did a joke post on one of the videos I did here on this channel for cheesy gordita crunch calories that gets over a thousand searches a month. You could actually go over to Google and you could see that my joke post, I wasn't even trying, I was just showing people how to do it as a joke, we could see that it actually ranks here on the fourth page of Google without even trying. Like if you click the link, you're gonna see there's not even like anything here. It just says click here to try fast food. Pretty easy, right? And it ranks page number four. We also rank page number two here in Bing down at the bottom right here in the free section. So this is traffic I don't even have to pay for that wasn't even that hard to get. And then once you get your content and rank it on Google, all you need to do is put things in that content that make you money. You could do things like Google AdSense. This is where Google actually gives you a piece of the action for what people are paying on the Google AdWords program. The AdWords program is the one I showed you before where people are paying for ads above the free rankings. Very simple. So what happens is you take AdSense, you put a little code on your website or your blog, and that's going to show some ads. And when those ads are clicked on by people who are actually looking for the information, which are the people coming to your blog because they search for it in the first place, then you are going to get paid a piece of the action. I think the amount is something like 68% goes to people like me and you, and Google only keeps like 32%. So that's a pretty fair deal, don't you think? You can also put affiliate programs on your sites and blogs. Affiliate programs are programs that pay you when people do stuff. So for example, if I was going out there for the cheesy gordita crunch calories, obviously these people are eating junk food and obviously they wanna know the calories, which probably means they're on a diet or they wanna lose weight. So we could go through and offer them different diet offers that pay us anywhere from 10 to $60 or more when people sign up for them. We can also find different fast food coupons or different things that'll help save them money that pay us big time. If you want to learn more about affiliate marketing, make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. This is one of my favorite ways to make money, hence the affiliate marketing dude. You can also use other ad networks like Mediavine or any network that pays you for your traffic. And now let's talk about the second way to generate $100 a day or more using Google. Now we talked about this a little bit in the first method, but I also want you to know that over the years, there's lots of ways that have been created to make money with Google AdSense. For one, I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars with AdSense on my own websites and blogs and things like that. Now, I gotta tell you, the results are not typical, implied or guaranteed. The average person trying to do this stuff makes nothing, usually because they do nothing, but even if you do the work, sometimes there's variables that just cause you to not make money. That's how business is, there's always a risk. But I wanna to talk to you about some of the ways to make money with AdSense, which is really cool, because AdSense is a billion dollar a year platform or more. It's lots of billions of dollars, right? So we're gonna look at this and we're gonna say, okay, the idea here is that we need to get people to our websites or our content, okay? Now, we can get people from search, that's obviously a way to get people from, from uh, the search engines to go to our site, but we can also get traffic from other methods as well. You just wanna make sure that you're using everything in accordance with AdSense's terms and conditions, and you're not out there trying to buck the system, getting people to click on things that they don't actually want. So you need to be above board and you need to do this stuff legitimately, but some of the things you can do is you could actually focus on lower tiered search engines, uh, get traffic from those search engines and drive them to the things that make you money, the AdSense and different things like that. You can also create content or reports or you could post things on forums. You can go out there and get lots of traffic to your website in many different ways. Again, 
Even if you don't have a website, you could use Medium and different things like that. And I wanted to touch on AdSense as its own way to make money because it is a really, really lucrative way to make money if you don't know much about affiliate marketing, right? You could just set up a website, slap some AdSense on it, and start making money. Now, again, remember, the amount you're going to get paid on AdSense is going to be in direct correlation to what your website's about. So if my website's about cheesy gorditas, there's no ads for that, so I'm not going to make that much money. However, if my website's about mortgages or refinance, then I'm probably going to make a lot more money. And the secret way to do this is to find people who want something but don't know they need it yet. For example, if I can find people that are looking for like how much is rent or rent versus own, those are good keywords that lead me to believe people would be interested in a mortgage. So I can create content about that, create content about mortgages, drive people into my site, get them to look at stuff and put those ads on my site and make a lot of money. And right now across the world, there are millions of people making money with AdSense in a really easy way. Again, make sure you follow all the rules. Don't try to buck the system or cheat in any way. Don't try to entice people to click on things they don't want. Just make good content above board and let the ads do the job of getting the clicks. Now let's go in to method three. Now, method three has a lot less rules, and it's actually pretty simple to do, and you can get paid more money. I would highly recommend that you use this method alongside the other methods. You could use this with AdSense, or you could use this with ClickBank, or whatever it is. And what we're going to do in method three is we're actually going to take our traffic. So we're going to get traffic from the search engines for different things. So for this example, I could go for like Cheesy Gordita Crunch. Now, if I put AdSense on for Cheesy Gordita Crunch, I'm probably not going to make that much money because those advertisers are not paying a lot. However, what I could do is use my brain and find things that these people want, right? I could go over to a place like Offer Vault and I could type something in that leads us to believe that people are interested in something. Perhaps I could do like a toolbar, like the honey extension or something like that. Or I could do Taco Bell. And sometimes they'll have like different Taco Bell offers where I get paid when they just put their email in a box. Now, make sure the offer is legit and good. And once you find out if it's legit and good, you can run it and get paid quite a bit because if I'm getting $2.40 for them just to put their email in a box, I could actually make a lot of money with this, right? Getting to $100 a day, all you need to do is get like 40 some odd people to fill that out. Boom, you're paid. Now, you can also look at things like diet offers or weight loss, and you can see some diet offers are paying like $140 a sale. All I need to do is get a sale every two days, and I get my $100 a day using this method. Now, the cool thing about this is you could literally use this for everything. You just need to be creative and think about what your visitors really want. For example, if I had a site about how to get stains out of carpet, I could do leads for carpet cleaner companies that pay $27, $20, $4, really, really simple, and I get paid just when they call a number, fill out a form, or click a link. It really is that easy. Or here I could see there's lots of offers around loans that pay lots of money. Now the difference between using something like this and something like AdSense is with affiliate marketing, you have more control over your traffic. So what's gonna happen here is if you put AdSense on your site, AdSense's automatic algorithm is gonna go out there and find ads that are related to the content on your site. It's kind of like reverse search engine ranking, where instead of looking at your site to rank it, they're looking at your site to find ads. So if I have a site about Cheesy Gordita Crunch, it's going to go, hey, we don't really have that many ads for this Gordita thing, so we'll just put some generic stuff and you'll get pennies on the dollar. Now, if I go out there and I say, well, wait a minute, I think I could make more money with that $2.40 Taco Bell offer then I could go out there and maybe make 10 cents a click or 20 cents a click or whatever it is in a very simple way in a market where most other people are getting less than a penny a click. And using this method, you can also do what I call flip the market. That means you can take the market from one thing that is inexpensive or cheap or even free, get that traffic and flip them to something that's expensive. For example, if I use a keyword that's pretty easy to rank for, like what to do after a car accident, I can find there's car accident lawyers that pay $300 for a phone call. 
Now that keyword probably wouldn't get much money using a paid ad platform, but if I get the free traffic and I point them to this offer that's specifically what they want, then I could tell them, hey, go call this number to figure out if you got a case. And of course I pocket my 300 bucks, the lawyer gets a call, and everyone's happy. And I only have to get one every three days to make my 100 bucks a day. So affiliate marketing offers you a lot more flexibility, and in some cases you'll make a lot more money. Actually, most cases, if you do it right. Again, smash the like button, subscribe, check out my other videos. I talk all the time about affiliate marketing. And now, let's get into method number four. Oh, hey, thanks. Did you know that if you saw ads while watching this video, I got paid. Pretty cool, right? Now this is one of the rare ways that you can make money without having a website or pretty much anything. You literally just make videos and get paid. Again, that's why we talked in the beginning about how Google makes money because everything is driven off of the ad engine, right? The same thing driving AdWords is what's driving AdSense where you get paid. The same thing driving AdWords is what drives AdSense on YouTube monetization which is where you get paid. Now, in order to get monetized on YouTube as of making this video, you need about 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, which can be kind of difficult to get unless you know what you're doing, which you're gonna wanna watch my other videos to go through the keyword tactics and how to create content and everything like that. But once you get the 1,000 subs and 4,000 uh, watch hours, you can actually start getting paid for people to watch your videos. Now, I gotta give you a warning. I've been doing this for a long time and it's very difficult to get a huge following on YouTube, but you need to remember that the average YouTuber is probably getting less than 0.2 cents per view. Wait a minute, so you're saying to get that 10 bucks, the average person needs to get 5,000 people to watch their video? Well, yes and no. That is the average, but you're also gonna notice that again, it's going to depend on your topic. If you do a bunch of videos about credit cards, that's gonna trigger more expensive ads than if you're just filming fluffy puppies that are smiling. And the fluffy puppies, although cute to watch, don't really produce that much money. However, you could combine this with affiliate marketing and lead them to different puppy affiliate offers, which is a pretty good use of your traffic, or you could do both, run ads and do affiliate marketing, and have your own website. It's like a big stacking pile of money-making goodness. And that's gonna be a lot easier to get to your 100 bucks a day. And the key to making this work is to focus on a solid topic. Pick something that you are going to make videos about, whether it's traveling, whether it's making money, whether it's fluffy puppies or bunnies or how to take care of your cat or how to fix things around the house. Whatever it is, stick to that topic. Heck, I have a friend that lives down the road who makes a full-time income just making videos where he like cooks watermelons and makes it taste like a ham. I don't know, I'm a little freaked out to eat this stuff, but he's making a good living. And we've even seen people like PewDiePie and Mr. Beast and the Paul brothers make millions and millions of dollars with YouTube. Again, remember, it is a lot of hard work and not everyone's gonna get to $100 a day. But I think if you focus and combine the methods we're talking about here, you can build a pretty solid business around this method. And again, remember, on any platform, always follow the rules, provide good content, focus on the viewer, and be consistent. And I gotta tell you, I just started doing YouTube ads about six months ago, and here on my channel, it's pretty cool to get an extra check each and every month. And don't tell anyone, but that check is actually the equivalent of an average full-time income here in America and I'm just making videos in my backyard office. Actually, I was off my game today, and this video, so far, has taken about five hours to create. And now, let's get into method number five. Now this method, although a little complicated, I think some people can take it and actually build a big business out of it. I've actually used this to make lots of money. I have friends who've done this and made a lot of money. And what you're gonna do is you're actually going to go out there and outsource the creation 
of different apps to put in the Google Play Store, Android, all kinds of things. Now, apps seem by nature like they're going to be super expensive to build, but some of the simple apps could be built for like $300 or less, and some of the more complicated ones are only like a couple thousand dollars each to get creative. Created. So, you're going to have to invest a little bit of money or learn some coding or maybe you already know coding or something like that. But it is going to take some work and it probably will take some investment as well. And what you want to do is you want to find people that are looking for various different apps. For example, if we use our keyword tool here, we can see dating apps, people are looking for investment apps, TV apps, uh, movie apps all kinds of different things, cash advance apps, photo editing apps, and a lot of these could be made very, very simple, and you can use them to make a huge return on your investment. Now, the idea here is to make money from Google, obviously, by selling these apps in the app stores. Now, you can get paid on the front end for selling the app. You can actually get paid a monthly subscription service for the app. You can actually get paid for having in-app ads or affiliate programs or different things like that. Now, I wanted to include this, even though it seems like it's super advanced, it's really not. You can actually go out there, and I wanted to include this because you can pair this with whatever else you're doing. For example, if you have a travel website, you could make a travel YouTube channel, and you can make a travel app. You could do all kinds of stuff, pair it together, and make a big business. And then you might look back one day and be like, 100 bucks a day? We passed that a long time ago. It is going to take some work. And if you look at this, you can actually create some really cool things that'll help people. You just need to think outside the box and think simple. What app on this list right here can be made in a simple way? And you can also go through and do your keyword competition and say, hey, I only want stuff that's like a 10 or less. And you can see all kinds of different apps people are looking for. Pretty cool, right? So, the idea here, among all of these methods, is to first, find what people are searching for, second, find how you're going to make money, and then put that in front of them, whether it's a video, an app, a piece of content, a PDF, some kind of software, whatever it is, you just go out there and give the market what they want. And if you like this video, and think I earned a thumbs up, click the little thumbs up, this thing was a pain in the butt to make, but it's got some good information, and I think if you use it, you can start to make money online fast. So, subscribe, click the bell, smash the like button, and check out this other video that's going to talk even more in detail about affiliate marketing.